you welcome back to the channel i welcome you to my part 2 of our portfolio project using react so in this we are going to see the project section you can see that in project section we have a heading then we have a filter button to filter the projects and we have some project which are horizontally scrollable you can see that and when you hover in it it's view projects when you click on this it will go to your project center but as of now we have used google.com as a project link you can give your project link in the anchor tag of hre so let's see this project section so now come for our project section so here we have a project section so we'll see our project section so in project section we have imported the use state and react from react and in previous video i have also explained how what is the use state and and uh, use effect so must watch part one of this video so now we have imported this image as p1 p2 p3 p5 from this path i have given and imported the fa link that link icon from the react icon so this link icon you see that we, here we have a link icon so this is important from the react icon so how to import the react icon i have explained this also in the part one you can go and watch it now we have created a array of object in this array of object we have passed written in your data id 1 2 3 4 5 title project 1 project 2 project 3 you can write your project name also and here we have a category this project is website application website application so you can define your category of your project in which category we have made your project and the image so p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 so image this we have imported right p1 p2 p3 so this image we have passed here now we leave this data using my filter and we'll show on our website now come to the project component in this we have created a two use state first state will filter second state will track the hover item so in the here you observe two state so when we are clicking on website right the text and the background change of this see the filter button background is changed and now so how it's changing see it's tracking the state in which state it is right so if it is in this active state so now website is active make this background and text of this color this so using if state we can track the state right you can see using use state now this is the one use state second according to this it is filtering out right which item should be shown on which button click that also has been tracked right so for that we have created a use state so both of them we have a create initially it is will be all so here our when you go to our project initially will be all button is active and all projects will show so we pass in state all so category is so all means we will use down here all website and application so i'll show you so all projects will be shown initially and we have passed the active filter and set active filter then hover item and set hover item which button should be selected and which button should show the background and text has been changed which button is active so track that state so initially it will be null now come to the main logic how we are going to filter so we have created a constant filter portfolio this is the name of your constant and here we have passed the active filter equal to all means here we have used a state variable to track the filter so 
now how we can filter so if we filter equal to all means when it is showing all then it will show all the portfolio data so in portfolio data we have all these so it will show all the image in all section right so we pass portfolio data this is the name of this constant portfolio data right if if active filter is not all then what should we do so portfolio data dot filter means if it is not all means we have a site or application right if it is these two things website and application what should we do we will filter the item so we can pass any item uh, parameter any name this is the parameter you can see that when you over item so you can pass item or item number or uh, uh, filter anything you want you can pass here your name or any other name it depend on the parameter name can be anything so you can make it a meaningful so i have passed the item so in this we have it will item dot category item dot category what is item dot category website application see if item dot category is equal equal to see i have written three times equal to so it's so that you can match the both the data type and the value also so the data type is string and the value is website right so so that we pass the three times this is the G simple javascript guys if you don't know this you can first learn javascript then watch this tutorial if item dot category means a website or application equal to active filter so equal to active filter then it will filter the portfolio so what is active filter you can see that so active filter i will show you so now active filter is application right so in this if the category matches with this then it will filter according to the selected see application website website is selected so now active is website right so this website will be equal to the this category then it will it will filter and it will store in this filter portfolio constant now we will use this constant below here so in the constant here below we have see portfolio item we have created a div and in this div we created one more div you can create as your needs and in this div we have over the map we have passed the map about this portfolio so like why use map so uh, we are using uh, many data right in above we have passed this portfolio data there's more website and applications right so we have filter it out right I, each item so and even using uh, map you use a key so you pass item as a key so key is item id item id is one two three four right you can use index also so it's your needs but id is, is good if you use so when you mouse over enter or leave set hover item equal to item id and set hover item equal to none on mouse leave so this is the portfolio filter map so it set the hover item so hover item is initially null right initially our hover item is null so if matches with that id this key id hover item equal to id mouse hover enter so and one mouse leave so these are the two events mouse events these are the simple javascript so don't worry so we have passed this and we and you click on this we get the id now it according to that id it will show the image item dot image and item dot title 
so so it will show only image only if it no image it will show the title so in this item title see image has been shown right so this is little bit complex but if you read the logic this code i'll upload on github so if you read it is very easy so when hover item equal to item id so when you hover in it when you click on this and equal to the id we have mentioned then at that time we show a anchor link google.com we have passed and it will open in a new tab we have passed target plank and fa link and view project so when you hover and this so that link should be open so in each item we can pass the different we have passed the google.com for everyone but here you can write the item link here href equal to this this link equal to you can pass one more value here like image or category or title we can pass in a one more value there we pass the link and we can iterate over this every link using map function and on each uh, your project and over it will show the different different link according to your pro project and here i here in above i have left that so here in the we have created a project header so this is project heading and when all website and application these are the three category we are using and using map filter and we have to filter set active equal to filter and when it is filter then background is purple dark purple and dark it is with purple so when it is active then background and text should be changed right so using map dot map we are going to iterate over each category like all website application and according to that it will set the class so using if you writing the javascript inside it you will pass the dollar sign and in this way to write the another bracket inside the bracket and two brace bracket should be there and here using a uh, javascript logic inside our class name see one and two two we have passed the two curly braces and the second curly braces we have to pass the javascript here in the java if filter then show this style if it is not filter then show the background white and dark on dark class we show this this and this so these are the simple css you can show and here we have passed the filter so this is the filter item it will show now we, we have, I have explained you down also so these are the this is the project session is a little bit complex part but it is you can read and it will be very helpful when you read now come to the context session we have a heading and three input box name email write message and a send button now come to context section now here we have a imported react in contact component we have a section tag in this section tag we have id in this div we have h2 tag here we have passed the contact and in heading we have a form tag in this form tag we have passed three input first input for the name second input for the email third input for the text area means a message and then set it send button and we have a style with some class name with for this and all so you can see and this that's it for the context session so it is very simple guys you can once you did it you will feel very easy now for the future section what we have in photo section a text and a nav links and a background color so we create a footer tag in this footer tag we have a div in this div we have a paragraph created by the name and all right is are you can write and in div we have passed this three anchor tag in this anchor tag we pass link of this social media icon and in this we have passed the class for the icons you can the fa 
fab fl linkedin so this is the you to get the icon from the font or awesome. and see these things we have used here and now our photo will be shown in our project so you can see that it's looking amazing so you can change the dark and night mode so but our project is not responsive so you can contribute our project on the github you can fork the repository and you can contribute this project i will accept if your project is working fine so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so we will meet in next video with a new amazing project so stay tuned thank you